uh, get started. Um, welcome everybody to May 3rd, I can't believe it's May already, uh, QBird meeting. Um, we'll just pop down. Uh, let me let me do that thing where I share my screen if I can. And while I'm doing that, if people could write down um, where they their names in the uh, attendees, let me pop it in in the chat. Uh, go through the laborious process. All righty. Can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Excellent. I've got that fun no cursor thing. Um, awesome. Well, that's fun. Well, all right. Um, do we have any anyone new here today that would like to introduce themselves, say good day, say a little bit about them? If you do, please, please pipe up. All righty. That's all right. Um, the schedule check-in. I might have to open this somewhere else just so I can see it. Um, so the Qbert V1 schedule. I'll have to bring it up here. Um, where are we at? We're in May. So not a lot is happening. CR lanes for provider are voting. Um, and then we'll tag a beta was that next week. So that's where we're at. Um, worth pointing out that we are one month away from the um, V1 feature freeze. So please keep that in mind going forward. And we'll continue to check in on this um, as we thunder down the road into June. Um, I've got a couple of things. Uh, DevConf and KVM Forum, that's, they're both happening in the middle of June in Bruno in Czech Republic. Uh, there will be Qubit people at both of them. And there will be a lot of Qubit people, as I understand, at DevConf. We've got nine Qubit related talks or people from the Qubit community presenting somehow. And we'll also have a booth. I don't yet know where the booth is going to be. Um, I'm also trying to organize a Qubit hackathon while people are gathered because we'll have in excess of 10 to 12 people. Um, so please let me know if you'll be there. Um, otherwise, I might end up uh, booking a room too small is what happened at KubeCon recently at the project meeting. Um, another thing, the mouse cursor thing is going to be really annoying. Oh, there it is. Ah. Um, so this has been talked about quite a bit. It was merged, I think, last week. Um, this was Fabian. Is Fabian on the call? OK. Um, so this was. Uh, um, a community update that um, is aimed at uh, increasing the coverage of, of reviewers and providing a, a simpler ramp up of people being able to become a reviewer or a maintainer within the Qbert community. And so rather than um, a review requiring or an improver rather requiring a an extremely broad and comprehensive uh, code knowledge in order to become an approver. Um, we have kind of Fabian's email, and I should drop the link to his email in the chat. He had a, um, a whole slide deck about this with horizontal and vertical. Um, he referred to them as SMEs and SIGs. Ultimately, the discussion just led to them being called SIGs. And um, I can't see my mouse, so that's a pain. Um, Anyway, I just wanted to put, put this in front of you. Um, I'll have to fix how Zoom shares my screen for the next time I end up accidentally doing this. Um, please look into that. And if you are interested, um, hopefully um, you can now see how you could become an approver if that is your jam and um, help out. Um, uh, one of the ways that this does make it easy is you can have strong component knowledge and then you can improve things that involve that component. You might get called in to say, hey, look, this broader PR um, includes this component. Please, um, can we get your feedback on this? Um, yeah, any questions? Excellent. I've got two items I can see on the open floor. Number one, uh, monitoring code refactor. Can someone please speak to that? Um, that is on me. 
Uh, I created um, a PR on the community repo, uh, proposing um, a different implementation on how we do monitoring so far. Um, as a person that works a lot on monitoring on Qvirt, and I've been opening a lot uh, of PRs on Qvirt monitoring code, and I feel that um, the way we built it in the beginning, it worked, but now uh, we are hitting several pitfalls. For example, uh, monitoring code is spread throughout uh, all of the core code of Qvirt. It's hard to keep a mental model on monitoring is implemented. It's hard to add new metrics and alerts and, and maintaining them. Uh, this is a problem that uh, we already discussed in the past. I see that uh, in the call uh, there is uh, Igor, Federico, and Luboslav, and um, I've I think I've talked with them about this problem too, and they have been reviewing my PRs, and a lot of times we have issues upgrading the code, even doing the end-to-end -end tests. So I created this design proposal. The idea is to create a separate monitoring package uh, where we will do all the logic related to monitoring. And then we'll be able to remove it from the core QVIRT code and have a clear separation of, of the both of them. So I ask everyone present here to, to take a look at this document, uh, to this PR, uh, leave your opinions, your ideas and possible improvements so that uh, we can in the future maybe implement this and improve how monitoring is being done on QVIRT. I don't know if anyone likes to say anything, your opinions right now, or uh, if has any doubts on what I said, or any questions. If no, I think that's it. Well, it looks wonderful. I uh, look forward to reading it. Thank you very much for proposing that. Thank you. Um, yeah, and yeah, if anyone does have any thoughts, um, you can jump right there onto the onto the PR. Uh, new tag is this uh, Daniel or Brian speaking to this? No, that's actually not me. I don't oh. know who added that. Come forward. It wasn't me either, so this was someone else. <laughs> We have a mystery on our hands. Um, maybe it's just as simple as there is a new tag. Um, who would have added this? Uh, if anyone, whoever opened this on the open floor, um, if you would like to demute and, and talk to it, otherwise we'll just take it at face value and move on. Alrighty. Um, well, we'll take it at face value. There is a new tag in town. It is the V100 Alpha. Um, so hooray. That's a, a bold milestone indeed. Um, the pull request that need attention. I couldn't see anything. Um, everything seemed to have been commented on. So thank you to everyone who jumps onto those before we need to look at them in this community meeting. Um, the mailing list review. Um, this mouse thing is really annoying. Uh, Chandler put forward a, um, a comment about reorganizing the user guide. At the moment, it is split into two um, giant areas, which is operation and version machines. And he believes that the community can come up with a creative solution to it. Um, so I'd like to direct people's attention to that. Um, uh, documentation is one of those things that a is close to my heart, but it's also fundamental to people people being able to understand um, how to use the, the product. Uh, unfortunately, it's one of those things I feel that are often get left to the very end or to the wayside. Um, but it is extremely important. So please take the time to read that, whether it's a Friday afternoon or whenever you've got a break between meetings, um, and have a little peruse of the virtual machine. Um, and operations and see how we might be able to split them up in a logical um, and wonderful way. Thank you. Um, and 
I appear to have put the bug scrub um, bugs into the Zoom chat. Sorry about that. Um, so if, where are we? Now, from the recording, I gather that people, people could, people, you can see my mouse cursor, is that correct? Anyone? Yeah, we can see it, yeah. Uh, can, can you just tell me we're, at, we're probably close to 9675 in the Zoom chat? Um, hey, you look, yeah, you're on it there. You have it there, yeah. Oh. Where are we? Uh, I am so down, down. 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 <laughs> right there. Look back up. Oh, yeah, it's uh, a moment. Yeah. A little delay in the do talk. I'm do you want me to try and share? There. Instead? Yes. Beautiful. Uh, you have it. Yes, have it have please. It. Okay. I got this one. Um, yes. Um, Brian, for the second one, it would be great if you could uh, share screen and take over from me. Um, yeah. I can so, well, try but, and take the next one. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, non elected vert operator has QVert work Q depth. Um, There seems to be a lot here. It seems to be about the vert operator. Um, I don't know if we want to go through this uh, right now or whether someone wants to say, hey, look, this looks like something that um, is in my ballpark. I will take this. Work queue depth of queue vert controllers. Um, can anyone on the call identify anything that's either obvious on this or see something that they might be able to follow up with the bug raiser? All right, uh, I will um, resort to trying to follow up in the Slack channel and seeing if I can get someone to, to take a look at it. And if not, I will start indiscriminately pinging it to people. Um, Brian, I'm going to stop sharing. This fiasco is coming to a close. If you could please uh, take us through the, the second one. I was kind of hoping Brian would also take us through this one. Sorry, sorry. Can you see my screen okay? <laughs> yes, we can. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I think we had someone here from monitoring, so maybe they could help us with this. I might have to, um, yeah, track down someone who works on the monitoring stuff. And um, uh, I was taking a look. I don't mind taking ownership of this uh, bug, but I still will need to take uh, a better look at it. I see you here then. Yeah. Uh, my handle is Machado Vilaca. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, it's the second just... one. Come on. Oh yes. The second. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um. And I think that's it for the issues. Is it, Andrew? That is correct. Nothing's crept in the last minute. And thank you, Jean. Um. That's it.
we've hit the end of the agenda, the open floor and anything else. Does, um, before we close out, does anyone have anything that they would um, like to say, like to bring up? Um, any questions? Hi, uh, this is Bihari. So last week I raised a PR for a feature called viewers user interface. Uh, the PR ID is uh, 218. It, it, I have raised a design proposal with uh, two, uh, 218. So it's in a community uh, repo. Uh, can you know uh, when we can, uh, I mean, uh, uh, when we'll be discussing the uh, design proposal because uh, I've raised it last week uh, after the, right after the uh, weekly sync up. Excellent question. I'm just trying to find it now. Um, uh, I expect uh, we, we might be discussing it this week. Oh, okay. I, I can't see it in last week's schedule. Do you mind putting the link into chat today? Uh, sure. Thank you. Um, all right, uh, Brian, do you mind um, sharing your screen again so that we can uh, take a look at community call two on it? second. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but Harry, did you want to give us just a quick um, like uh, run yeah. through of what's been proposed. Yeah. So in Qbert, when we try, when we create a VM, uh, if we create a, a, any number of uh, interfaces, all the interfaces will be going through the Linux. So uh, the v, uh, the Qbert will try to create a bridge uh, between the host kernel and the VM kernel. So uh, when when we have a data plane that is running in a user space like uh, vector processing packet, uh, vector, vector packeting uh, packet processing or DPDK, uh, going to the Linux might uh, might might be a longest path to take. And since the, uh, the data plane will be running in the user space, if we can have a uh, path that can be directly connected from the VM to the data plane within the user space will help us uh, in fast packet processing. So we host user with the interface we host user, we should we will be able to achieve that and we can see that the uh, uh, pack, uh, packet processing is uh, faster compared to the Linux path. And for this, uh, we will we'll, we'll be using few uh, uh, changes in the Wordland support. So we'll be um, wanting some shade directory and uh, uh, downward API volumes. And these uh, two things, these two uh, volumes will be a, a help us to create a socket connection, uh, create a socket uh, in the Wordland support. So this socket will be used to connect to the data, uh, data plane running in the user space. And this, uh, instead of creating a bridge for the interface, uh, inter uh, vhost interface, it this socket will be uh, directly uh, allow the VM to connect uh, connect to the data pane uh, through the user space. So uh, the the API changes will be as as this way. So in the device in the VM spec definition. And the under devices interfaces, we'll be giving the type as vhost user. And uh, once we give that, instead of using the traditional bridge, uh, it will use this vhost user uh, type interface and uh, uh, it will uh, bypass the kernel. So whenever we use a data, uh, uh, something like DPDK, uh, the packets won't go through the kernel of the host. It will directly go to the data plane. Uh, so this is a grid spider of the interface. So 
So to have this interface uh, to, I mean, uh, we have the changes ready for the uh, feature, but uh, to add the end-to-end -end, uh, end -to -end test cases, we need to have the host to have a data plane running in user space. Since we are used uh, in Kubert CI, we are using OVS. Uh, the dependency will be to create a OVS with the TBDK in the Kubert CI, which can be used to, uh, so that in the cube, uh, so we use uh, Kubernetes provider in the, while bringing up the uh, uh, test setup, uh, uh, like uh, we can export uh, some variable called uh, cube, uh, Kubernetes provider and give the value like the case 1.25, 1.24, or 1.27. So when we uh, when we do that, uh, a setup will be br uh, brought up, but that will be having only OVS, but there will be no DPDK support by default because we won't be using DPDK. So uh, without DPDK in the host, uh, we won't be able to validate the feature. So to have the end-to-end -end test working on the uh, Kubert uh, CI, uh, uh, we need to uh, have uh, DBDK enabled on the Kubert CI. And uh, with that, uh, we should be able to run end-to-end -end test that can test the feed, uh, this uh, interface. So I think this is like another, uh, we, we had several attempts to to suggest multi uh, more bindings that we have today, <clears throat> we have today. I think Masquerade Bridge, uh, Make Vitap, uh, Pasty. These are the the main ones, I think, if I remember correct. And <clears throat> there were more bindings proposed because uh, there were uh, requirements for uh, for migration with bridging and and also this DPDK uh, option as well. And and I can the problem that was raised by the, at least by the maintainers was that we are not able, uh, but with the capacity of engineers that working on the project, to maintain all these bindings. Even the existing one are already problematic. And and the suggestion was to to find a way to extract the logic of these bindings. Out of out of the project, like uh, all the logic that you plan to do to to connect the to implement the binding inside the virt launcher, so it will be done outside it's by uh, by like uh, for example one of the ideas wa was to do it with the CNI, and then this we could take this uh, your suggestion here and try to see how it will fit with uh, that idea. So if you are interested, we can I can try to contact you later, and and try to understand if you had a POC or something or what is needed exactly to be done in the launcher, to see if we can we can put this uh, to check if the idea that will that will have to extract it out it will it fit also this scenario. Uh, sure. Uh, so currently we are using this feature in a, in our uh, uh, testing uh, like our own product so there we have introduced these changes and we are uh, currently using this for past few releases so uh, yeah we can uh, discuss uh, again uh, okay so okay so we can i will try to in contact, if you put, uh, if you add this to the Docker, the meeting notes, then I'll try to to contact you hopefully tomorrow. Uh, sure. I've uh, I've already added it to the open floor. Um, thanks, Ed, for the follow up, and thanks, Bahari, for the design proposal. It looks good. Um, I did notice that there was a little conversation on the mailing list um, about vhost. Do you also want to um, send an email, not necessarily in that thread, but to the mailing list, um, just saying, here's the design proposal, um, can please look at it, here's what it does, TLDR. Um, and you might get as well more eyes and more thoughts on that as well. Uh, sure, I'll do that. Nice one. Well, and, and once again, thanks for the proposal. That looks great. All righty. 
Um, does anyone else have anything that they would like to add at the last minute to the open floor or just mention, question, answer? All right. Well, if not, then we're just coming up to the bottom of the hour. Um, thank you everyone very much for participating. Once again, if you are going to be in Bruno for DevCon for KVM Forum, please let me know um, and I can accommodate you in, in what we're planning there. Um, other than that, hope you have a wonderful day, week and weekend. See you next week. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.